guys the uh, new dash. It's gonna be right here. So this is the Tuner View app and it connects direct to your ECU through a Bluetooth adapter if you have that put in. Um, really cool. So this is the GPS mode which will map out uh, where you're going to, so like that. So pretty neat. And, and the GPS automatically hooks up uh, without Wi-Fi or, or anything on here. So there's that. We can switch to a ton of different layouts that just look really cool. So we've got obviously RPM and speed, your fan out, engine cut, VTEC out. We've got the uh, uh, intake air temp, uh, your map sensor was your boost, um, throttle position, voltage from the O2, uh, engine temp over here. You can set all these up however you want them. Um, do your full setup. You've also got uh, other layouts here that are really pretty neat looking. So, and, and all these will automatically start start reading once we get our ECU in. There's another cool one. So, it'll all be pretty neat. And I've, I've went through and, and messed with these and, and uh, changed the colors on them and, and set them up the way I want them. But you can do all that uh, directly from the app. Change the colors directly in the app, which is really cool. Um, you can connect everything and then you can record um, off of the screen, see exactly what the screen's doing, and then record a full data log through this. You can also send this to your tuner and he can read exactly what's going on. Uh, we also have uh, an O2 sensor coming in, and we'll have a, so we'll have O2 and a boost gauge over here, and then we'll have stuff reading up there also, which will be really cool. So that'd be pretty neat when we get everything in. And at some point in time, We'll end up mounting this down here. It fits almost perfect in this spot. So we'll probably take the radio out, get some type of uh, amp in there, and then run our sound off this. So obviously being Android, it's got the FM tuner on it. It's got YouTube, all your apps. So if you set your phone up, Wi-Fi on it, you can automatically get everything on the tablet and then mount it in the dash. So really I just have to have a, a plate here and wire off to an amp that runs with the speakers and and uh, the USB obviously coming into it, but uh, that shouldn't be hard to do at all. So that might be kind of neat, but for now I got this, this holder thing, which will work uh, well enough for, for what we're doing right now. Mainly just need to get the turbo stuff done and, and get everything, all the ECU stuff set up. So really the first things to do are just little things here and there, just get everything ready for the turbo. So um, main thing here will be uh, the uh, timing belt kit, getting it put on, and uh, some little things, that sensors and stuff like that, still changing out those things. So that's where we're at though. All right guys, got the Honda back over here in the shop and about to start working on the timing belt here. Pull it off and I'm gonna touch up the valve curve a little bit. You can see some in lines that it's not as smooth as I want it to be. I'm getting a little bit of a cold, so I'm sure y'all can tell that. I'm going to rip all this back off, pull the valve cover covers off, or the um, timing belt covers off, unbolt this motor mount, get all that stuff out of the way, see what we can get down to. All right, valve covers back off. Taking off this side cover now, got it loose. About to get out of the way, pull the uh, motor mount out of the way, and so I can get down to the timing belt. All right, guys, the uh, belts are all uh, off. I uh, ran over to AutoZone there to get this tool. I just rented it. Um, this actually goes up in the crank uh, pulley, and you can put your socket up in there to be able to break it loose. I couldn't get my impact to break it, so hopefully I can do it with this on a cheater bar, I guess. Uh, I've got most of the bolts out of the covers. Pull this crank pulley off, get the rest of the bolts. Should be able to get down to the pulley finally. All right, guys, uh, there's that crankshaft pulley bolt. I actually hate these things and ended up breaking one of the tools. Still can't get it. So, let me give her a little bit of fire. Right on the head of the bolt and give it about a minute of this. Hopefully it'll heat up a little bit, pop something loose. We'll see if we can break it loose.
guys there it is heat is the only way to go so i put i probably put about a minute and a half two minutes actually of heat on there i just let it go running in the bolt went back to it broke it right loose when beginning it wouldn't break at all i mean you can tell it's not rusty so it looks nice and clean so that uh was a job though at least this thing's all that's the worst part of the job so now on to the rest of it all right so there's the inside of that bolt then we gotta pull this pulley off here and see how bad that's gonna be but hopefully it won't be too bad we can get her off there pretty easily actually yeah it feels good there it goes wow that didn't require a pulley or nothing just literally fell off of my hand sweet I think anyways there's that so kind of ugly in there be good when we get this new pan gasket on now we just gotta get down pull out these bolts on each side there get those out of the way get this plastic cover off and get down to the belt all right guys I had to take off uh, the pulley right here one of the uh, belt pulls, I guess it was the AC. It was right about there. So pull it off that those brackets there. Be able to pull the dipstick tube out of the way. This thing should come off. All right, guys, dipstick tube out of the way. You can see right there, part of the plastic, that nut, I'm sorry, the bolt that's right up in there, right about there. Gotta pull that last one out. So I've made a mark here, put a mark there at the top, all the way across, and then straight down on this metal tab right there. So now that I've got that mark uh, on there, I'm gonna go down to the bottom and put that mark down here on the crank pulley, which is really, really tiny. Okay, so now we can cut the belt off. You still see my line there. And you want to cut the back side because the back side has the tensioner and the water pump on it. The front side is what matters. From this line down to the line that I did down there, that's straight. So we're going to cut back here. This is the part I really hate. It's just kind of scary. Now the timing belt is off. So we don't want anything to move. Pull that water pump off. Pull the tensioner out. New belt on. Should be good to go. It's hard to see. But that is the new pulley on down in there. And now we're, there we go, you can see it a little better there. Okay, so here's the old water pump. Got the new one going in, exact same design for the most part. So get it slapped in there. All right, water pump has been reinstalled or, or at least installed, the new pump is on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill this thing back up with water. Uh, just make sure if there's any leaks or anything and then the last thing to do is get the tail the, the belt back on and tighten it up um the cam sensor but down there will also need to be put back on as soon as i get the belt on but let's go ahead and fill the same back up okay water's back in nothing seems to be leaking so i think we're good there next step is try to figure out how to get this thing off without anything turning we'll figure that out so, gear came off nicely here so got that out of the way and then we'll try to get this seal in here get it pulled out of here maybe get it replaced all right the old one is out that's the old one and get the new one on here it should be good all right so now on to the pretty stuff this is that uh, VMS Racing, the uh, Viper Fang Gen 2 uh, cam gear here. And they send a, uh, a Holly Keyway, a Holly, a Honda Keyway with it because this Keyway is actually made in here. Okay, guys, this cam gear says to, says warning. Uh, boots, bolts are loose, uh, torqued to 15 foot-pounds. That's these bolts right here. So when I got it on there, started tightening those down, obviously the crankshaft moves. If, you're, if your crankshaft moves, all you have to do is put the belt on it like this, 
and then work the pulley back around. So you can set it to where, right where you need it. And right now it's perfectly in line. We'll take this old belt back off of here. Now we're good to go. It looks pretty good. So before I started messing with that old belt, as soon as I took it off, I went ahead and put me some marks on the new belt, counted them three or four times to make sure, and from my line to my other line was 41 teeth. So this is my top one going down, and then I made two lines down here on the crank just to be sure everything goes back in the right spot. So now we just got to fish this thing down through there. All right. Timing belt is back on. I got my marks lined up here now. So crank pulley is back on, it's tight down there. Um, now I'm gonna do a full rotation of the motor and make sure that nothing interferes and everything's good. If that's good, we'll try to crank it, see if it'll run. All right guys, so the tensioner's all tight. Um, Right now, the just the pulley is just, just barely on there, and I'm gonna try to fire it up. If it'll run like this, then we'll be good. Um, get it all back together. So let's try it. All right, I turned it over a little bit with the spark plugs uh, off, spark plug wires off, uh, just to let it uh, turn over by itself. See what happened. Everything seemed good. So now we're gonna try to fire it up. All right, here goes nothing. Nervous. I guess we're okay. Ooh, man, that was nervous. Oh, it's nerve wracking. Man, I can't even talk right, I was up tired. So late. <laughs> oh, me. All right, guys, it's the next day, uh, a little past lunch. Last night, I was so exhausted, I just had to quit because I couldn't even talk straight or think straight. Kept messing stuff up. So Dad and I are about to see if we can get the rest of the stuff on. Uh, I'm trying to get the bracket on for one of the accessories. And once I get that done, get everything, all the belts on there, and then get the valve cover back on, should be good to go. This way. So here's our bracket, which I'm suspending. And I'm trying to get it down into there. Try to bolt back down to the side right there. Do you have one of the bolts? Okay, so um, motor mount's back on, all the belts are back on. Now what I'm gonna do is touch this thing up because we did have a little bit of tiger striping going on, which actually is a little bit more Assinuated, I guess, in the in the camera here, so it's not as bad as it looks. But I want to get that taken care of, get it bolted back up, and I think we're ready to go on a test drive. So we're gonna see how it does. All right. All right. So I've touched up the valve cover now. We got uh, this new seals put in. Everything bolted down. Should be good to go. We're gonna go ahead and fire it up and uh, um, get. Uh, the same bacon, should be good.
pretty good. Belt hasn't popped. Motor's still running. Still feels about the same, so. It almost seems like it revs quicker now. The, uh, the belt, the new belt, didn't seem to line up to the old belt exactly perfect. And the, the cam gear seemed a tiny bit different than the stock, but that just might have been me looking at it. Um, I really like that cam gear though. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Um, I feel like it's doing all right though. I'll do some, some pulls here in a minute. Just wanna give it time to break at slow speeds. gear second gear i think that's what it was i think it was a little bit slack in the timing of the valves so when vtech kicked in it had just a little bit more power now it seems right now it actually i know the butt dyno lies but it feels like it has more power now just from doing that um so maybe it just knows it's turning into a race car absolute funnest car you can buy for the least amount of money i mean you can buy these hondas not even built just like this i mean just a little couple things to them get some better suspension on them get an intake and exhaust and some little stuff here and there and you can have a heck of a car that does pretty good it's a blast to drive for not much money all right guys uh, car did pretty good um, really happy with it and just got in some uh, new little high rev stickers here so pretty cool slapped a couple of them on each side here add a little high revs to each side so I'm gonna continue to work on this thing uh, I've got most of the turbo stuff in now uh, so it should be pretty good get this thing rolling and boosting. <laughs> 